Had a little snafu with my pretty princess sewing machine and broke the needle tip off. <sighs> Upholstery life, you know what I'm saying? So, as you can see, my little pony first sewing machine strikes again. Broke another needle. It really doesn't like doing this thicker material. I don't have any more needles, so now I have to go find some. Sad day in the kingdom. Got me some thick boys, some heavy duty needles, so we'll see how this goes.
turns out that there is a sewing machine shortage all across the United States and sewing machines are out for seven weeks. I broke this thing yesterday and had to spend like an hour and a half repairing it. Don't even know what I did, but it wouldn't sew and it's a sewing machine, so that's its only job in life. But the pretty pink bastard survived and sewed all of the seat cushions, all of the draperies, and I can't believe this little thing did so much work. Uh, I went through three needles, broken and bent one. I don't even know where that one went. Right there. Went and bought six heavy duty needles and went through most of them. So that's uh, pretty sick. Learned a lot and I think I'm a little bit better at sewing now. Onwards to the rest of the car. the curtains are in installed who knows how long they're gonna last I am NOT a seamstress I have been waiting for Amazon Prime to get here it's a Sunday and they just delivered the headliner glue so I could finish the last little bit of the rear headliner and then the reassembly process begins and should be good to go by this evening so that we can roll over to the shop tomorrow and start prepping to film the motor build Sick. Friday night. The donut media dudes are supposed to arrive early on Monday morning. Then we do the engine build. Then it goes for the wrap. Then I leave for California. So I pretty much only have this weekend to finish this entire build. Uh, it looks like I've killed... 94% of Sesame Street in here with the walls and the sides and I'm pretty stoked on that. It's nice and fuzzy. I love it. I've been working on the lighting. I already had this with the license plates and the, the nice backlight there. Uh, now I've been working on this kind of rim so that you don't have LEDs just blasting you in the face like that. I can't stand the way that looks. So also finished up this little hit right here. Kind of connects the blue and the red with the little lightning bolt symbol. So I'm I'm kind of in love with that. It's pretty awesome. I finished the headliner. Turned out sick. It's probably my favorite album cover and favorite piece of Grateful Dead art from all of the stuff that I've seen and learned so far. So I absolutely love the way that that turned out. Make sure everything works when it's wired and plugged in, and I think that's pretty much it. Got the awning on, so yeah, I just have this weekend, and that's it. And then this thing has to be finished. What a week this has been. Most of this stuff is the first time I've ever done any of this. Definitely never done a headliner or wool upholstery, or I had to learn how to sew again. The last time I sewed was when I was in like sixth grade in home ec and I sewed a tote bag, which is totally different than seat covers it turns out, but hey, you know, you live and you learn. Now I can sew again on my super sweet pink sewing machine that looks like you get it out of a Cracker Jack box. But pretty stoked on the way this project's going and I'll be mobbing on it all weekend. Sick. The LED lights that I installed have like 105 different modes that they go through so I'm pretty stoked and it kind of chases all the way around this thing all the way back up to the license plates it's all connected and it all does the same thing and look at all these different modes <laughs> it's pretty cool <laughs> I wish I could put these on my drift car I don't know why I haven't done this yet because this is amazing
It looks like a party. My goodness gracious, what a two weeks it's been. This van is completely transformed from what it was. It's a little over the top in all the best ways possible. I kind of feel like I've taken some sort of bit of acid or something just even sitting in here. Um, shout out to Cookie Monster and Elmo for giving up their fur for this project. I went into this, A, never having touched a VW bus, B, never having done any kind of upholstery or carpet inside of a car, and C, not really quite understanding what the vibe of the Grateful Dead was. I actually had to get on the internet and do research on it because I had no idea. I never listened to them. I never heard any of their songs. My uncle actually gave me his records a long time ago and I was lucky enough to have two of those. So I put those on repeat when I was sewing and doing stuff inside. And it kind of got me in the mindset to actually do this. I didn't want to offend anybody, but then I kind of realized that being a Grateful Dead fan just meant kind of freestyling and kind of doing what you feel. I think that was the most important thing that doing this could have taught me is to just kind of let things roll and ended up kind of how it is. And I absolutely love it.
I'm really stoked on the outcome of this thing. So hopefully Chinatown Market, Donut, and the Grateful Dead appreciate all the hard work that I've put into this over the last two weeks. Huge thanks to Next Level. Huge thanks to 10 Tenths Motorsports for letting us do the motor rebuild, which we're starting on Tuesday. Uh, the Donut Media guys get here tomorrow. We're going to film some B-roll of the actual motor itself. Um, and yeah, I think all I need to do now is put in the refrigerator. It's like 2 a.m. on Sunday. The Donut guys get here tomorrow. And this thing is 99.4% complete. I'm pretty stoked on it. What a project. I'm grateful that it's over. Officer Dan out. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two.